IEP Calculus, Mr. King here. We're going to look at how you can take a function that has a hole in it. f of x is x squared minus 16 over x plus 4, a rational function, and build an extended function that is continuous at that point. The first step is to take the limit of this function f of x as x goes to negative 4. As we'll see, we'll be able to find the location of the hole. And that value that we'll get is going to be very important in this analysis. So to evaluate this limit, we've got a difference of squares in the numerator. And we're going to uh, factor that into x plus 4, x minus 4. And we can see quickly that we have revealed the same factor, x plus 4, in the numerator and in the denominator. And we're going to be able to uh, divide these out as we evaluate this limit. And we'll get the limit as x goes to negative 4 of x minus 4. And this limit can be evaluated quickly. We can substitute negative 4 in for x to get negative 4 minus 4, which is negative 8. That is the value um, at the whole. And we're going to use this value to build an extended function that's continuous at x equals negative 4 in just a moment. To build an extended function, we're basically going to create a piecewise function. And we're going to call it g of x. This function is not quite f of x. It's mainly f of x. And so we say g of x is f of x as long as x is not equal to negative 4. However, we're going to define g of x as negative 8 when x is negative 4. And I like to call that plugging the hole in the uh, rational function. g of x is an extended function that is continuous at x equals negative 4. In fact, g of x has the domain negative infinity to positive infinity. It is continuous on all real numbers. And that's our tutorial on how to create an extended function that is continuous. Can calc over and out.